What's up on YouTube? I'm Alex and today I'm taking a look at another cheap Chinese action camera. So this one is the W9C action camera. As you can see it has a little screen on the back and it does look like a GoPro. It comes in this uh, waterproof case and as you've seen uh, at the beginning of the video it is uh, indeed waterproof. The camera comes in this box right here, it's a good looking box, on the front we just see a couple of colors uh, that the camera comes in, Wi-Fi, waterproof and uh, so on. And on the back some uh, specifications about uh, the camera but uh, not that much. So that's about it for the box, inside the box we find uh, a little manual, half of it is in Chinese, half of it is in English, uh, I mean it's a very simple uh, thing to use, uh, you don't really need a manual. And aside from that we get a whole bunch of accessories. So lots and lots of mounts, even a charger here. Uh, you can set uh, the camera on a tripod with this, uh, this one can go onto the bicycle, some zip ties, some double sided tape and a cleaning cloth. So the standard uh, stuff for these action cameras. To open the case that comes with, you're gonna have to do this with one finger and pull with the other finger. So a bit uh, difficult to open with one hand, but I guess that's good so you don't open it by mistake in the water. The camera looks like a GoPro, aside from the mode button here that's upside down, if you notice that. But if I hold the camera this way, it's not upside down anymore. But yeah, the button is upside down. Other than that, we have a button here, an OK button. Onto the right side, the uh, arrow up, down, and uh, this is also the Wi-Fi uh, button. The microphone or the speaker, uh, it's sitting right there. It does have a 900 milliamp battery, and watch out when you open that, it jumps all the time. So, the first thing that I did uh, when I got this, if you look at the pins there, I'm not sure if the camera can focus, they are all messed up, so you're gonna have to like straighten them out, uh, or maybe it's just uh, this particular camera. But yeah, the pins were uh, all bent and uh, the camera wouldn't start. So keep that in mind. The camera has a small LCD. However, outside if it's bright, uh, you can barely see whatever the camera sees. Uh, it's very simple to use. If you use, press the mode button on the front, it changes to picture taking. And if you press that again, it uh, turns off the screen. And another time takes you to the video player so you can see whatever you recorded and press it another time and you just get the setup so very very easy to use uh, whatever you want to change just uh, change it from here select it go back and uh, so on it does have motion detection so it can start recording by itself whenever uh, you move it i'm not sure if it's a useful feature or not for me not necessarily you can select if you want to record the audio or not the date stamp capture mode so if you go in here, you're gonna see if you wanna take uh, like with a timer, pictures of the timer or uh, every time you press uh, the button. So very straightforward resolution, quality, sharpness and uh, some other uh, uh, settings here. However, um, I don't find uh, most of these uh, settings uh, that useful. Now, the one thing that uh, this camera has, uh, it's Wi-Fi, so it can connect to your phone through Wi-Fi. You will need to download uh, my AnyCam uh, from the Play Store or whatever iOS. And uh, after you have the app downloaded, just press the button here, the up button here. So just keep it pressed. And now it's gonna start uh, the Wi-Fi. So after this is done, uh, you're gonna have to go onto your phone, search for the network. So just search for that uh, network right there. Connect to it. It's gonna take a second or so. And now it's connected. So now you can go back to the app and uh, you're gonna see whatever the camera sees. So, whatever the camera sees, I'm gonna see. So, very straightforward. Uh, the app does uh, work okay. I haven't had any issues with it. Um, you do have a couple of settings here, uh, so you can change anything uh, from the app uh, and you don't have to change it from uh, 
the camera itself but you don't have as many options uh, as you'd have uh, on other uh, Wi-Fi cameras from China so very very straightforward uh, to use this so whatever you are seeing here you can start recording for example so now it is uh, recording and uh, then you can see whatever photos or events or uh, whatever you did uh, right there so the app is very very straightforward now, now if you want to take a picture let's take more because the camera does freeze uh, when you take pictures so I took a few pictures outside and it would freeze uh, all the time it might have to do with the bright uh, daylight I'm not sure but the camera does freeze uh, quite a bit uh, while taking pictures it never happened when I recorded video however uh, while taking pictures uh, I did find the camera freezing uh, quite a few times so that's the only downside to it for 35 bucks I guess it's good enough but I would spend another five bucks and get that f60 action camera that uh, I had the other day I found that much uh, better than this and the footage on that one uh, better than this I left uh, some uh, sample footage uh, after uh, this uh, enjoy the footage thanks for watching and let me know if you have any questions This is a test in low light conditions, so it's not that bright in here, however it does uh, seem to look okay, at least on the little screen that I'm seeing at the moment. I am uh, on the bicycle. Recording the 1080p, although as smooth as possible.